Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, as you probably know, a dude named Mr. Mocha Lover. But right now, as you can see, we're kind of engaging a little bit of a battle between us and the Union of, of uh, England. England? Britain. Union of Britain, not England. Because there's Scotland there and Wales. But here are the casualties. We've lost a fifth of a million, almost a quarter million. We've killed quite a few of the Brits. And as you can see, we've been sinking a lot of things around here. Actually, what has the naval battles been like? Equipment details. Uh, here's all this stuff. Uh, what is the naval screen? And so basically, my goal was like to starve the Brits out of oil here. So it didn't go exactly as planned. I mean, as you can see, we're doing fairly well. Uh, equipment and task. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ooh, army stuff. It's kind of cool. We actually have 3.7 million men in the field. That's kind of cool. Regardless, uh, how did I normally go ahead and see the naval? Oh, it's right. No matter. It's it's behind this thing. I can't see the thing because I can't show you how many ships we sunk. Ah, because I sunk a few more carriers and stuff like that. Oh, Kaiser Redux or Kaiser Reich, both of you. Ah, regardless, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. But let's take a look. Uh, pretending rules of waves. Not really. They have a little bit of manpower. They still some fuel, which kind of sucks for us, but that's okay. Let's let time go on a little bit more after just sinking the, all their, you know, fleet. They have up to 200 convoys. Their navy, as you can see, they still have a lot of battleships and destroyers, but they they literally are out of carriers. So, and their planes. They still have a lot of planes in the air, but. Not for long, as we are shooting down pretty much everyone here, but a couple comments. Uh, someone says we have too much board gore now. Oh. Oh, okay. We're, we're still taking out a lot of these places over here as well, so. Oh, yeah. We just took these guys out. Nice. And at this point, I've just been taking the stability hits, and I've been taking everyone out here. Or at least trying to take everyone out here, so. Um, you guys over here. Just come on down to the Ural Tsardom. So, yeah. Someone says there's too much board gore. When we can, I... Whoa. Hold on. Okay, so when we can, I was just going to annex these guys and make Rex Commissar that puppets out of everybody. So I'll just use Cons Commands to annex everybody. So Zenit sends Ziminators back in time. Oh, okay. So this might be part of like the April Fool's update or something like this. So sends Ziminators from a future parallel world to Beijing to ensure the creation of the PRC and the subsequent creation of itself, a rogue state aware Chinese artificial intelligence called Zenit in every timeline to protect the existence of China as it once was tasked. I mean, what? Uh, no, I'll... What? Um... Uh... Okay, so... During the last three months of 1935, all across the globe, including our own nation, there have been reports citing UFOs, strange pyramid-shaped structures, appearing from then vanishing. Most frighteningly, there have been reports, sightings of actual aliens in what appear to be the hazmat suits, taking notes before vanishing into thin air. Reportedly, these same aliens have been killing entire settlements on the various frontiers of the Earth, such as Alaska or Siberia. What's well, more, various fringe groups, such as the Spiritual Party in California, Germany's Annenaber Society, claim that these sightings are proof of their beliefs and are calling on the governments of the world to investigate these sightings for the protection of public safety. While these radicals hold no power and the call for investigations have mostly fallen on deaf ears, some members of our government who have a paranoid dispensation have secretly come forward to Joseph Goebbels and requested we launch an investigation at once. While well, Joseph Goebbels has passed these men off as crazies, as time passes, the arguments used by these men keep circling in their mind. Hoping to put both these men and their own man mind at ease, Joseph Goebbels resolves that Simply rumors of fringe radicals, nothing more. Um, I'd love to do this one, but I think this is part of the April Fool's Easter update. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this has got to be it. Like, oh my. Mm. So, this is interesting. Okay. Well, we better finish this up as fast as possible then. Because uh, it's not going to go very well for us. You go, just go ahead, guys. Yeah, okay. I do want to take the rest of the Entente. We take out Hungary as well, so... And they're still trying to beat the crap out of us, but it's not going to go very well for them. Cool. Uh, let's see. And someone said, you can annex, if you annex everything, you can get nice Rex Commissar as puppets. But that just means we've got to finish the Germania plan, which means that we need to fully control Alsace Serene, which we sort of do, but we need to capitulate and annex um, pretty much all of them and core them. So we need to core all this stuff. So that'll finish up the Germania plan. So we really just have to beat the Third International. Alright, uh, Vanna von Blombug, you've been hit pretty hard. Can you guys go ahead and just do this? Maybe not. Okay, seriously, you really might not be able to. That's not very good. We need more divisions around here. Do we have any extra spirit armies? Well, who do you want to help me out against? I don't really care. Let's go right ahead. Doesn't really matter to me. Where are you guys at? Oh, I'm going to fight these guys too? Okay. Okay, I forgot about this part. We're justifying on these guys up there, which is fine, whatever. 
We do that first. Uh, we just have ships out of date. That's fine. I mean, they're now at 3.4 million, so... Or almost there. Manpower-wise, or at least the red. Oh, they're out of fuel. That is very good. So they can no longer field an Air Force because, for the most part, because they're out of fuel. Now, that is what we like to see. Without them having fuel, we have absolute air superiority, and we should be able to dominate them very quickly. That's fine. You guys can come on in, and we'll do a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Good. That's fine. They still have soldiers there, which is fine. So, I mean, if they want to send out supplies and such, that's fine with me. Uh, that way we can just seek them quickly. I wonder if we can really really do attack here. I would love to attack here, but you know what? Do this one. Did you actually win there? Yeah, you're good. The fallout of Atlanta. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay, so... The Carlos Spanish apparently won. I didn't remember that. But apparently Canada's going to win the American Civil War. God dang it, Canada. And look at Central America. They took out Mexico. Ah, uh, Central Americans invading Mexico. Always a good time. Actually, can we go to war? Is it Transmuir? Eh, just go to war. I don't want to deal with that, so... And go ahead and start going to war with Somalia, because no one likes Somalia. Except for the... Except when they have those little pirate boats. That's kind of cool. Except when it's our pirate boats getting attacked. Alright, it's looking a little better. Now, that's not very good, but... Not too bad. That should be taking an extreme amount of damage because of all the ground support we should have for the groups here. And I put a lot of planes here to cover the air as well. If you look over here, uh, we don't need that there. Look at all the planes we have. All these planes in the English Channel, Southern England... Oh, no, it's the brisket's gone. Love it! Nice. Very nice. You guys. Head on over here since we already went to war with them anyways. Transmir is that's probably one of the largest nations over here. Go ahead, guys. Just go, 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 go. Don't worry about them. Let these guys deal with this. Did I give them orders? I did. I did give them orders. That's nice. Cool. They are attacking something fierce. Ah, the old sardom has gone. I'll send you guys over here too, just because we can. So we can move a little bit more quickly. Even though supplies actually probably be really, really bad around here. It's alright. Build them, build them up. Spanish Civil War is finally over in 1945. This is probably the longest I've ever seen the Spanish have a Civil War. Holy smoke of daddies. I want to surround England. Or England. London. Cut them completely off. Yeah, they're looking extremely bad. They've lost another 200,000 almost. Oh, the car is gone finally. Bye-bye car. Seven research slots. Man, that is so incredibly strong. I love it. I hate to fight Goebbels. That'd be really bad, but whatever. Um, now that they have to send convoys to get any sort of supplies, besides the small little victory points they, they have here, Fate of Siberia, a North Muscovovia oil, sure, a road coming to our legacy, that's good to do as well. Uh, we don't care about this. War propaganda against Transamir, not bad. Cool. And now they're slowly all starving for supplies because the capital's been cut off. Now that is just, hmm. And I'm finally getting, uh, better planes. <laughs> It only took me until 1945. Oh, and improve anti-air. Good. Fighter 2s. Let's go with Fighter 3s because we could probably immediately use them. Nice. There you go. Oh, look at all that. They're all starving with a little bit of attrition. 8%. Go to 9%, please. Oh, they have signal companies. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Give them a little more time. We'll be okay. Hey, I'm a good issue. Why not? The Witch Mill Africa will be fun to take out too. That can. Goring, 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 you cannot live here. There's not enough space for your fatness. I'll just take the hit for now. I don't, I don't really care about this. Military occupation is the only way. Only way. You, you guys want to come in? I don't, I don't really care. At this point, we have enough of a navy. I'm not really too worried about um, the Third International. I'm not worried fighting them. Oh, there goes Huey Long. I'm not worried about the Entente. Hungary doesn't have a navy. The Canadians are doing very well for themselves, but at that, I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Oh, there goes Somalia. So, there's another convoy. You guys have a spare army now? Yes, thank you very much. Deutsche Mille Africa is not going to kill itself, you know. 
Um, yeah, we got. We really do probably have enough soldiers for everything here. Nice. Make sure we get enough air bases around here too. And what you do? And nuclear bombs are very nice. Nuclear kaboomies. If we want to, we can build a few of these up here as well. Wow, infrastructure kind of sucks around here. Then again, we might have gotten nuked. I can't tell. I'm gonna do that. I wrote coming our legacy. Thank you. Ah, they're starving, my friends. They're starving like the animals they are. Yes, yes. One simple push, and that the door will just come crashing down. Here we go, my friends. There you go. We should be able to win pretty much immediately. 3.66 million. Well, we'll come back and take a look at that very soon. Actually. So 3.69, nice. Anyone else a major power here? The fall of London? Goodbye, London. Now they're going to get more supplies back by this point. I don't think they can do very much against us. Let's grab some more convoys. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. 22 more ships. Not bad. There you go. Oh, where are you? No, I want you guys to go right there. Pressure mines. Honestly, speed doesn't even matter at this point. Like, research, I mean. Um, no, we're looking pretty darn good right here. Very nice. Get some more carrier fighters then. <clears throat> ah. They have a lot of puppets. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just gonna grab that one's fine. Not bad. Oh, we still have you guys here too. I just go in and get it. It doesn't matter too much. Franz Halder. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, look at this. That should be his back up a little bit. Uganda? Four million already? Very nice. They are still fielding a few planes here and there, but it's probably not very much. Let's take a look. Aviation unions? Nope, they're, they're trying to get fuel. They're running out of manpower, and they're gone. Look at that. Beautiful, my friends. Oh, uh, I could just do this off screen, but we'll just take, do it together. Why not? I guess I technically could get stuff, give stuff to um, England or England, Canada. Uh, I don't think we are though. I'm just literally just axing everything. I might give them Central America, maybe. Uh, Central America. Well, hmm. Here, I'll be nice to the Canadians. You guys can have Cuba or Chile. You guys can have Chile. There you go. You can also have the pa <clears throat> excuse me, Patagonians Workers Front. I can have Hawaii too, since I didn't do anything for them. There's no, I want to take Central America. It's just because I need a landing area to more easily invade Mexico and such. So, thank you. Well, goodbye, Third International, and let's do another focus. Finally. Hopefully. Can we do that yet? Yet? We're just doing some resistance suppression. No, we cannot. God dang it. Well, just go and quarter this off. Nice. Construction of the Lena Berlin Brussels. Very good. Alright, now we should be able to. Well, did you mind your plan? Oh, god dang it. We have to wait 100 days. Oh, man. Uh, in the meantime, then, I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit more and take out a few more nations and finish off Deutsch Middle Africa. Alright everyone, so it's now January 5th, 1946, and we have already actually just completed a couple of these. Proclaim the Germanic State. We've achieved our dream of establishing a Germanic State right in the heart of Europe and Empire lasts for eternity, as well as Leibniz realm. To the East lays wives, empty lands and resources, lands and resources we will claim for our people. Eastern Europe will fall to our grip and be reforged into the German administrations, as well as Scandinavian brethren. Now that we've become the protectors of all the Germanic people, we must safeguard our brethren of the North, which is very good. No good attack. Oh, we can just we can literally just go to war with them, but we have no political power because, well, when you annex people, or not annex people, when you don't let them uh, live, I just literally just did not give them peace and stuff. But we're now known as the Gross National Arbeiterstadt, so kind of cool. And I guess Costa Rica and Panama fell. Um, I don't care. Uh, let's see, give it to our Central American allies. I can have that. Yeah, I don't want to lose any more political power, so you guys can have that, please. Oh, they have it in scores. That's actually really nice. Good. I decided to release these guys just because. Why not? We might as well. Um, <clears throat> this will be a good staging area to invade the on top. I'm not really sure if we're going to finish that war. Um, currently, we're out of political power, which is god-awful right now. I'm going to keep as much as possible. But we can establish uh, 
VK Uthinian. So, let's take a look. Oh my goodness, that is, that is sad. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like this needs to get maybe a, looked at. They don't even have a... Oh, Rosenberg. Oh, they actually have their own unique focus tree. That's kind of cool. First wave of colonizers. Oh, my, come on, man. Begin Germanization looks really cool. But, like, if you already have the puppet there, you should just auto-transfer all those territories to whoever it is up here. Oh, we can do, within an expansion... Oh, maybe you can. One? Within an expansion one? Oh, yeah, maybe you can. That's cool. Volkskommissariat. Okay, cool. From the Volkskommissariat Calcus? Yes. Okay, that's actually really cool then. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the devs already thought about that. And maybe the devs are smarter than I am. Hello? So, yeah, Mexico took over Texas and such. And actually, for this American Civil War, the PSA actually won the war. But then it was like PSA, Dominion, New England, as big as they are now. And then Mexico? Whoa! Alver Alred? Whoa. And actually, Mexico joined the... Entente, but President Lyndon Baines Johnson? Whoa. The border crisis? Whoa, that's actually really cool. They probably have, like, no divisions and very little manpower, but, you know, it is what it is. That is, uh, wild. I'll say that. That's quite wild. Nice. Just sitting over here. I guess expansion 2? Very nice. Go expansion 3? Return to uh, lands. Yes, please. That's fine. Oh, wow. They expand very far. That's actually really nice. All this technology really doesn't mean too much. Whoa. Expansion 5? Oh, maybe we should not do this as fast as possible because they don't have enough manpower for this. Yeah, they have none. Um, maybe we do want to wait. Uh, they do get more weekly stability, though. That's pretty good. Ger first wave German settlers. Cool. Things are still going on, unless the natives begin Germanization. Oh, we actually have a positive amount of political power. Look at that. Caustic Expansion 1. Nice. And the Volks Commissariat's over here. Uh, too bad they don't get... I don't understand why they don't... Yeah, I guess, I guess they kind of do. Because this was part of Azerbaijan. Actually, you know, at this point... Ooh, I'm not sure they get all that stuff, though. There you go. You can have all the lands. That's fine. So as we take over the lands, they should have enough compliance here, right? Wow, that's a huge expansion. Okay, so because... Uh, let's see. Oh, Calcus expansion into Armenia. That's fine. Calcus expansion 2. Um, I'm just going to give them this stuff. I don't want... Actually, maybe not. I mean, this says they have claims and stuff. So maybe we'll wait. Oh, we go to War Hungary too. That's not bad. Oh, we will attack these guys as well, so... Um, oh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, you, you guys still down here. We might as well attack Finland. How strong is Finland? 19,000 manpower. 17, oh, we have a bigger army than they do. That's good. You guys are down here. Probably supplies are probably really sucking. Give us a little bit more time. We'll do this as well. So, not too bad. Some more dockyards. There you go. A lot of cruisers. 53 ships is pretty darn nice, actually. So, that's another task force in itself, so... Uh, three guys right there, then. Nice. And we go to War with Hungary whenever we want. I want to take out these guys, but I guess we're not going to, so. Actually, you guys are in the Entente. Yes, you are. That actually really sucks. So I can't really spare you guys, then. You guys are not in the Entente yet. They probably will join. Actually, maybe we'll just go to War with them first, since we're already here. Then we need another army for that. Okay, that's fine. Technology doesn't really mean too much anymore, so... That's against the Entente. Greece is in the Entente. You guys are down here. You guys are down next to India, which makes sense. You guys are down here, which makes sense as well. And you guys are still up there, so... <clears throat> we have to wait for these guys. So, let's see what else, what else can we do. Demobilize our economy? No thanks. Attack these guys. We'll be all eventually. Expansion 4? Oh, are you guys not... Wait. Did they rebel against us? Hold on, 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 hold on. Why are you done Caucasia? What the heck is this? You're sp okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with this. Like, we, this was literally our puppet, and they rebelled against us. No thanks, man. No thanks. I'm not playing around with that stuff. Give me your territory. That is stupid. That is beyond stupid. I, I'm 100% certain. I did not give them freedom. They were our puppet, and they chose not to be. 
There is no choosing here for stuff like that. No, 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 no. Expansion 4. What the heck? Let's go with 3 next. God, I love to have Hy Volksland Hyperborea. And this should be taking good. Now that makes so much more sense. Okay, I'm just going to mess with this too then. There we go. That's better. That's actually looking pretty nice. The victory of the Dominion. The Raj is won. That's just not good for us. Conquest of the United Baltic Duchy. We do need to go to war with them as well, so. Uh, let's see. We oh, we need. Oh, Hyperborea Svelen. Cool. Warp up again actually would be probably a pretty good idea to do as well. Uh, that doesn't really matter too much. Just choose. It doesn't matter. Just choose something. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything else? Attack Speed in Finland. Attack Finland. Attack both those guys. That's what, that doesn't matter for now. Uh, since you guys are over here, anyways. There you go. Good enough. And expand the Baku fields. I kind of want to wait. Warp up again. No, that's fine. Catalonia, that'd be fine. White Ruthenia, like. What happens if I just annex you guys? I just take you guys back. Will you have a Rex Commissariat right over here too, maybe? Maybe not? Thank God for the State Transfer Tool mod. I just want to see if there's anything here, so just give me everything. Goodbye. Alright, let's see. I don't think there is. Oh, destroyed Columbia. Purge Revolution. Um, okay. Well, maybe not. Balton Land. I mean, yeah, we want Balton Land too. Heinrich Himmler becomes a field marshal. That's kind of cool. Why do we have to wait so long for this? 15, two weeks, man. Man, come on. It doesn't really matter what we make. It makes more guns because we. It, if you look at the negative green number. Yeah, we have the we have the uh, counter in there. Wow, that's so dumb. That shouldn't technically affect us since on the same day we'll be doing that stuff too. I'll expand the Baku fields, I guess. But at least we got these guys. That's kind of cool. Off of Rosenberg as well as Kalkasin. Rudolph has a seal here. What is he wearing? Nice. Early colonization. Very cool. And we'll go for the United Baltic Duchy next, probably. June 10th. Now we gotta reach us fine, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Our guys are up here anyway, so. Alright, you guys are ready to go. Yep. Oh my god, come on. Wait, you didn't go to. Alright. As you can see, I, I've been doing stuff off screen as well here, so. Well. But this is the only way we've got we can do it, so. Like this is so dumb. So dumb. That you can't kick people out of your factions in Kaiserak or Kaiser Redux. I think that is incredibly stupid. Just I, I don't want to use cons commands, but as you see, I have to use them sometimes, so. Mm. There we go. Hyperborea? Oh, there they are. Volkswagen Hyperborea. Sven Olon Lindholm. Very cool. But thank goodness for the State Treasure Tool mod. My goodness, where would I be without it? I guess Gauntz Commands too, so. Oh my god, stop telling me I have research to do. Uh, over Finland, that's, that'd be good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hopefully it's still going. Um, Hopefully the recording didn't crash because it lagged so hard. Um, and it, it lagged so hard that my down arrow started going up. What the heck? Are you going to have all the lands? Yes. I don't care. Just take them.
There you go, just go to war. There you go. Nice. Over Norway, there you go. There you go. And oh, not bad. Volksland Hyperborea. Very cool. Do we have any other events here? Fate of White Luthania? I don't care. I, I I don't care. I'll be honest. Aren't we supposed to get like a lot more states here too? Because we have these two. Lebensraum. But is there anything else? What about down even down here? Like a lot of this is it just doesn't seem to make sense. Because I've seen pictures of like doing all that sort of stuff, so. Alright guys, come on. Oh, just go in, dude. Just go in. There's no one there. Alright, so the United Baltic Dutch is done, which is good. So now just where Columbia's cool and all. Uh let's see. Establish okay, there it is. Expand up a bore it. There you go. Balton land. Hopefully we get some more events after this one too. Ah, oh, there we go. Establish Volks Commissariat at Muscovy. There we go. That's what we want to see. And Baltimore starts literally just off in Riga. Led by... <sighs> Papa Himmler. Papa Himmler and Muscovy is led by... Strasser. Okay, we didn't really kill him off. Okay, that's cool. Wait, do we have another focus? Do we... Really have another focus? Oh, look at this. Ensig. We've achieved the final victory for Germany, bringing prosperity in the future to all Germans inside a glorious nation. Nice. The Great Wall of the Urals. Uh, go ahead and give everything they... They want so that's fine with me. Wow, I really hope this is still recording. Just because I I can it constantly pops up the little blue circle thing, so God dang it, like so incredibly hard sometimes. Bolton lad. This is what we want to see: the Great Walls of the Urals. Oh, we just core northern. We just core them. Oh, god dang! Is it Taust? Pam? Well, someone gets the cores. Not bad. Ensig is nice. A German god. National Marxist family. The Volksführer has called upon all Germans to follow the new National Marxist family model which combines traditionalism with ideological party through aiming for rapid population growth. Cool. Establish Volkstadt Judea. Ooh. Return Muscovy lands. Yes, please. Yes, yes. You can have them all. Expand Judea. Oh, who's leading Judea? We'll see that in a little bit. Let's see. Expand for the east, please. Wait, you didn't even touch these lands, though. What the heck? Chelebinsk, nice. Tarania. And Tarania is probably even down. Ah, here we are. So, who's in Tarania? Mer Merced Sultan Galev. Cool. And then we have Avraham Stern. Volkstadt Judea. I don't know why. I thought of Herborborea. Her you have your own unique focus tree. Holy crud. That's really cool. The Yiddish RR. That is chosen of the chosen. German economics. This is the new Zion. Wow, this is just this is nuts. And this should all go. Yep, very good. And so we literally have these as cores, which I, can, I don't mind giving these away to someone else. Like that looks like make it look kind of ugly. But do you guys have a unique focus tree? The birth of Toronto. Yeah, you guys do. Oh my goodness. You guys are so... This is like the European side, our own RR, so... That's actually really cool. Um, anything else? Return to Iranian lands, that's fine. Yes, you can have them all. That's fine. At this point, I can't care about technology. Do we have anything around here, though? China did expand pretty far north. That's actually really cool. I think we've done really well in this campaign. I don't really feel like taking out the Entente. There's just really no point to it. I mean, yeah, we could take out... Hungary and Greece, but I don't think they have Reichs come sorry, especially if you know these guys. What the heck? Hold on, uh, these guys don't, so that's a little better. That looks so much nicer. Um, does anyone else have claims? Oh, hold on. Well, then, 
All right. Now that's nice. And technically we do have a claim on this, but I don't think we can really do much about that. So, yeah. I guess we could try it, but it's not really going to do very much for us. Uh, we can go to war whenever we want to, so not too bad. There we go. Well, another task force, why not? Fine. Another subby. Scout planes doesn't really matter. Boom. There you go, something like that. I kind of doubt they have anything, but we can see. Purge Revolution, we can go to war with those guys. Stahl Pact Expansion. Poland? No, all these guys are pretty much dead. Sheng Chao. Sheng Ch Sheng Ching Chang Guo. Haiti? Serenica? Cool, but we really have nothing for the Far East here? That's, that seems kind of unfinished, but again, we still need to finish this stuff too, so. Let's zoom in just a little bit more, so we can speed up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And we'll do the next focus. My goodness, it lags hard in Kaiser Redux, but that's okay. The Germanic Millennium of all seeing eye. To safeguard our new society, we must forever be vigilant, especially towards the greatest threat. The threat from within. We shall monitor every citizen now and forever. Nothing shall be unseen. But with the Troy Punkt system. The Volksführer has come up with a new Troy Punkt system, or loyalty point system, which will award good behavior, a good working morale, a healthy body, and party loyalty, while actions representing the opposite will reduce one's points. Permit to travel, leave the country, or the privileges of certain luxuries will be bound to the amount of points one does have. So you get more political power, more weekly stability again. This one gives you less subversive, foreign subversive activities efficiency, which is pretty nice. And then a German god. Oh, even though we've already suppressed the church, that was not enough. We shall build our own faith, a German faith centered around the old Germanic god Woden, the German millennium. We have cemented our grasp over all of the Germanic lands, bringing forth a new age, a millennium dawn to show Germanic supremacy to the entire world. No one will ever bring down our order again. Wow. More war sports, just five world goes times. Not bad. But I want to see if there's anything after that, so let's keep going. Let's see what happens. Scott playing twos. Ooh, what do we have over here? Oh, demobilize. No, I don't think we will. Uh, technology doesn't really matter too much. I do want to go to war with Hungary, like I said, but we'll see what happens. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. That's gonna be ex extremely bloody, probably. Yep, take out those guys too. Probably a lot of naval battles going to rage on from here on out. So. Oh, and you guys are in Mexico are going to get hit pretty hard, so. Makes sense. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I thought you had to do that. Well, at least that'd be really sucky. Can you guys actually push out, maybe? That'd be kind of cool if you could, actually. Kind of doubt it, but you know what? You can keep trying if you want. Since we're down here, anyways. Get him some more fighters, maybe? There you go. Just push it through Mexico. How would you guys relax first? And then you guys are not doing too much. Wow. That's nuts. Alright, so hold on. I don't see what's going on here. The task forces, Canadian task forces just dropping like flies. Whoa, look at that. With our carrier fleet. Look at that. Eight battleships. Just so many ships. Holy crud. Lost a convoy, maybe. Just so many. Yeah, just... Oh my goodness, we sunk an advanced cruiser hull and a light ship hull. Two subs. We actually lost a sub, which sucks, but whatever. Nine more destroyers. Cool. Twelve more destroyers. Convoys. Convoys galore.
Casualties are 1.3 million already. Wow. Hungry's almost dead too. That's actually really nice. Kind of has been sunk. 1.43. Eh, there goes Hungry. Nice. South Africa. Wait, are we doing well down here? Or what's going on? Or no? Okay. Huh. Well, I don't think we have anything for them, which kind of sucks. I'm going to war with these guys, I guess. Might as well. Right? Oh, they're coming through here. That's fine. Uh, you guys actually might be able to do something here then. Come on down here and stop the Greek invasion. Even though we're killing a lot of their convoys, which is actually really, really, really nice. Someone's got to give, and it's not going to be us. Actually, we already won one of those battles. Obviously, we're not doing great here, but we're still sinking so many convoys, hopefully. Nice. Find all the Canadian convoys. Lost 95,000. We'll probably have to raise the conscription level a little bit more. 1.6 million dead. We have mixed air right now, which is not great. Oh, now we've got good air. Look at that. How are the tanks doing down here? Oh, uh, you guys are still getting attacked. That's not good. Here, kill them off. Right on up, if you can. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. Anything else we should know about? Uh, we really need to let time go on. Not too much, really. I mean, you all want to join the war? That's fine. The Volkstadt Judea is coming in, guys. Watch out. Jews are attacking. I don't even know they're Jewish. They're probably not. <laughs> Actually, they might just send all the Jews that way. A Jimin God. Followed up with... The Thrupunt system. Very nice. Very nice. Convoys just go kaboom. Convoys go kaboom. Actually, you might want to hold it off first. Um, you guys can probably do well, actually, so. Let's go ahead and go to war with them as well. Might as well. Oh, we can. God dang it. It's only 10 days, though. Uh, enter War Armored card doesn't really matter to me too much. It's not worth upgrading them really ever. But it's possible. I still do well with them. Lost, what, 150,000? 160,000 versus 2.25 million? Not bad. Keep taking whatever they got. There is no escape for them, so. There will be no escape for the enemies. Naval Werfers. Air Doctrine, of course, is done. Uh, oh, we didn't finish Naval Doctrine yet. Spanish Operative, cool. Very good, very good. I guess we really want to throw these guys in there, too, in the mix. And they immediately start attacking us. God dang it, where are your divisions? Oh, the American Enclave is gone. Yep, goodbye, American Enclave. Well, that's a lot of Greeks. Never gonna make it home again, but whatever. How are you guys doing down here in Mexico? Oh, you're getting naval invader. That is so not good. Take a few of you tanks and just come on down this way. We're gonna kill them all off here or something like that. Liberia, see, Greece. Greece is gone. That's good. Which one of you guys are do we're doing Greece? Kill them off. Kill them off. Good. You guys come up here. So your divisions are too stupid to do anything. And you guys also come here too. Alright. Uh, they lost almost 3 million so far. Not bad. Not bad. Good. Force them to die. And I'll send some guys over here too to help out, so. Nope, do not care. 
God dang it, guys. Keep moving, keep moving, 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 moving. We need to these. I really hate how you just can't, like, tell them... No, I don't want to see this anymore. Because it'll still pop up later on anyway, so... I don't care. Just do it. I can't even care at this point. Wow, we got encircled here. Are you kidding me? Man, that's so dumb. But we're going to finish this off anyways. With... Uh, no, no. Germanic Millennium. By the failure of whoever... Who, who was this general? Who was this general? Well, Karl Kreutz will probably get exterminated. Publicly executed if it was up to me. Because he refused to come to the line. He refused to come to the line fast enough. You guys will probably hold out and survive, so. And I just want to see if there's any end event for this uh, campaign. Is there any sort of end event? I mean, if we really wanted to, we could we could easily beat the Anton if I really cared. But I think that would be it for us. That was a pretty fun campaign. Not bad overall. Kaiser Redux is definitely very special and has a lot of fun. But if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.